functions. These two concepts play a very important role in the study of functions and their behavior. We first devise the existence of limit. We recall that if limit x tends to a minus fx is equal to limit x tends to a plus fx is equal to L, that is, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to common value L, then limit x tends to a fx is equal to L. It is well defined. In other words, if there exists a silent greater than zero, howsoever small, corresponding to delta greater than zero, such that modulus of fx minus l is less than epsilon, for all modulus of x minus a less than delta, we say that the limit exists and l is the limit. Now we take up continuity of a function fx at a point A which belongs to its domain. That is, if A belongs to the domain of f, then fx is said to be continuous at A if limit x tends to A fx is equal to fA. Comparing this definition with the existence of a limit of the function at x equal to a, it simply means that the function is continuous at x equal to a if its limit is equal to the value of fx at that point. Now we discuss continuity in a closed interval. Let a, b, b, b closed interval be a subset of the domain of fx, then fx is said to be continuous in the closed interval a, b if, number one, fx is continuous at x equal to a from the right, that is, limit h tends to zero, f of a plus h is equal to f of a whenever h is greater than zero. Second, f of x is continuous at x equal to b from the left. That is, limit h tends to zero, f of b minus h is equal to f of b when h is positive. And the third, fx is continuous at all points belonging to the open interval a, b. Thus, fx is said to be continuous in closed interval a, b if it is continuous from the right at a, continuous from the left at b, and continuous at all points belonging to the open interval a, b. Fourth point. Geometrical meaning of continuity. If A belongs to the domain of F and the graph of function Fx does not have any gap or break at x equal to A, either on the left or on the right, it is continuous at that point. That is, for continuity at x equal to a, limit x tends to a minus fx is equal to, limit x tends to a plus fx is equal to f of a. Ultimately, if there exists epsilon greater than zero, howsoever small, corresponding to delta greater than zero such that modulus of fx minus f a is less than epsilon for all modulus of x minus a less than delta.